Dewo Mibe. Dewo. Ana Mekeluno. Um, so <laughs> I wanted to do a live today just to um talk about something that I saw an article that I had written years ago, like four years ago. And it reminded me of something. So I said, let me talk about this today. Let me see how, because it was still relevant. So um, I said, let me talk about this today and see if anybody will be interested in this conversation. So this might, I don't know how long this will be. <laughs> but let's see uh, if this would be interesting to anybody. So basically the topic of conversation today is your Ikenga is the engine of the car, the car being you, while your chi does the steering. So you're, if you're a car, then your Ikenga. So this is, a, this is an analogy based on Igbo cosmology. So for anybody who loves cars, anybody who is a, who loves driving, who loves vehicles, who loves cars, this will be a very interesting conversation topic for you. Um, the topic today is the Kenga is the engine of your car, the car being you, while your chi does the steering. So this is an interesting topic for anybody who loves cars, and loves um, to talk about, just loves these types of things. So, this 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 is this is an analogy about Igbo cosmology based on cars, and it will help you to understand what is the difference between the chi and the kenga. If you've never understood before, what is the difference between the chi and the difference between the chi and the kenga? This will help you to understand the difference, because some people will think, oh, what is chi? What is ikenga? And if you if you are if you are not Igbo, if you're if maybe you're from America or maybe you're from some other country, and you want to understand how Igbo how Igbo cosmology applies, then this will help you to understand better based on cars and how they work. So Igbo um, cosmology is actually very simple, but you have to understand, you have to understand it based on something that that's familiar to you. So if you are a car, if you are a car, everything is made up of different components. If you are not, a, if you like, you are a human being, obviously, but everything in life is made up of different components and different things that power that thing. Now, a car is a machine. And if you think of yourself as a machine, different things power a machine. Different things make that thing go so that it moves, so that it goes. So just like just like a car, some, something makes that car to go. You have to think you as a human being, what is making you to move? What is making what is animating you? What is making you to go? And in Igbo, Igbo's believe that the thing that makes us to go are many. There's your chi, there's your aka, there's your um, ikenga, there's your um, agu, there is your akaraka. There's so many things that cause you, that, that are the things that make you to go, okay? So these all these, all these components will make you to go, just like the things that make a car to go what go so for the for this car the car that you're looking at today this car is a lamborghini centurino i will talk about this car because many people like cars many people like cars many people like admire sports cars i specifically chose to use for this image a sports car, a Lamborghini, Lambo, as they like to call it, Lambo, Lambo, Lambo. People admire sports cars. People admire Lambos. Um, 
because they're powerful and they have powerful engines. And, you know, often the engine is a V10 or V12 engine, especially for these Lambos, like these sports cars. And they call it a sports car because it's used for sport. They actually use it to compete with each other. The speed is what's important with it, how fast it can go. They want it to go to very fast speeds, speeds of up to 100 kilometers per hour or 100 miles per hour, depending on what part of the world you're in. America, we say miles. In Britain, they say kilometers or kilometers. So you will look at Jaguars, you look at Lambos, Lamborghinis, and this is the type of engine you're, you're working with, V10, V12 engine. So they have different level of engines depending on how fast or how powerful you want the car to be. So you can have V8 engine, V12 engine, V8, V10 engine, right? And if you want, the faster the engine, the more powerful, the higher the level of the engine, right? So that is what makes them so admired by car junkies or who have a need for speed and who will pay a lot of money. They pay millions of dollars. As you can see, this Lambo that you're looking at is worth $2.8 million. So people will pay $2.8 million just to get this Lambo that you're looking at on the screen right now. And so these cars, people will pay $2.8 million just so they can be able to drive these vehicles that can go zero to 100 miles, kilometers per hour at, at like in no time, in a few seconds. Like you can just step on the gas and pew, you'll be going very, very fast. So that's one of the reasons why these are very, very expensive because of the type of engine that is inside of this car because of the type of engine. And like I'm going to explain, your Ikenga is your engine. And I will tell you the significance of why that is important in Igbo cosmology, why you should know that, why you should understand that, that you as a person, if you understand the analogy I'm giving you, you will understand yourself a little bit better and why Ikenga is an important concept in Igbo cosmology. So your Ikenga is like an engine. So the car, the 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 car, the engine determines what type of car you are driving. The Lamborghini, the Lambo, requires a V12 engine, and then the Chi does the steering. And the steering and the engine work together. The steering and the engine work together. They co they collaborate. They have a uh, relationship with each other. They they you kind of know one by knowing the other. You know your chi by knowing your ikenga. You know your steering by knowing your engine. You can't use the the end the, the engine of a Toyota, of a Toyota or a, a Peugeot 505 inside of a Lambo. You can't use a Lambo's engine with a with a Peugeot 505 steering. It's important possible because if you use <laughs> if you use a Peugeot 505 steering inside of a Lambo like does is it'll be a disaster basically because you're driving so fast like the engine will go because the car picks up speed so quickly you need something that can handle the um the the acceleration the acceleration, the quick, the, the the quick turns, the quick acceleration. Acceleration is how fast something moves, uh, in, increases in speed. Is is how fast something increases in speed. This is physics, which is why um, Marco Bonaya's Ebo physics book, physics, his Ebo physics book is important because Arakoa he will explain what acceleration is in Igbo. And he will explain how that concept relates to speed and the increase of speed in Igbo. And that's these are the type of concepts that we need to understand as Igbo people, because these things will relate to how they make a Lambo to work and what makes a $2.8 million car what makes somebody to pay $2.8 million for a car? You know what I mean? It's crazy. But anyway, that's beside the point. So 
you can't use a uh, a Peugeot 505 steering in a Lambo engine because a Peugeot 505 will not be able to handle the acceleration, the change in speed. The change in speed. Imagine you're driving. Imagine you're driving and something is accelerating. And if you're following me, leave a comment. Leave a comment. I'll be able to see it in my um, this thing. Leave a comment if you're following me. So drive. Uh, you as you're driving and you're accelerating, and you all of a sudden you need to brake or you need to change directions. Your steering has to be what is called either um, hydraulic or, you know, there's different types of steering. There's different types of steering that have that are capable of handling what is happening inside of the engine of a Lambo or um, the different types of sports cars that there are, including Jaguars, including, you know, all these types of, in all these types of sports cars, V12, V8 engines, there's only only certain types of steering can handle it, and if you if you don't have that type of steering, you won't be ready. That's why I said your chi is the steering. Your chi does the steering. Your chi will be, in my analogy, your steering. Your chi will be the thing that will handle that handles where you are capable of going. Your chi is what handles where you are capable of going. That's why. Your chi is what they call they, you know, you have things like onatolo chi and things of that nature. Like your chi will handle where you're capable of going in Igbo cosmology. That's how you understand what is your chi. Your ikenga will be your engine. It will handle your capacity to go. Like your chi is what will be the driving force of you going. But your chi will your ikenga will handle your driving force of you going. But your chi will hand will steer the actual the actual path of your go, of your going. That's how you understand the difference between the chi and the kanga. Okay, we have somebody on X who has a comment. They say you are correct, and I like the analogy you used to educate us about ikenga. Yagazie, Dalo Kelvin Ho. We have somebody who is with us and is following Dalo. I appreciate I appreciate feedback because it helps me know that I'm 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 firing on all cylinders. As you see, I'm still using car analogies. Yeah, so I'm just trying to give a good and I'm just trying to give an analogy that came to me. So um so yeah, so so I'm trying to say that what the analogy that I'm giving is that your chi is doing the steering and in, in uh, is is the steering. So um the Ikenga is what is your driving force is your driving force while your chi does what the steering and you can't have your, your and your and your chi and your ikenga it determines your your chi and your ikenga like they you will know one by knowing the other you'll know one by knowing the other obviously these are things that you will go to a professional um a professional DBR or somebody who, who will give you more information insight into all those things. But let me give you some more depth into this. Basically, in order for a car to handle a V10 or a V12 engine, you'll need special steering capabilities because the powerful engine, right? The powerful engines like this can go from S, you know, rappers say zero to 100 real quick, zero to 100 kilometers per hour very quickly. Even when you try to turn around a corner in such a vehicle, it will not take much in those high speeds to spin out of control and crash. For this reason, you need special brakes and, of course, special what? Steering. Steering, which I said is the chi. You can't just get the steering of a Toyota Camry for a Lamborghini. Not at, not all steering is created equally. Some cars may need to be, a, be very sensitive to slight tilts or turns. They must also agree with how you brake, slow down, and stop your car. That's steering. They have to agree. Like they're supposed to agree with how you slow down, brake, and stop your car. So other steerings are not as easily triggered. They may be more stiff, and they take a little for they take a little for an effort to turn. 
Think about driving a big 12 wheel truck, like a big, you know, four by four, a big 12 wheel truck versus driving a small, smaller Mercedes Benz. Imagine if the big truck was easily triggered, had easily triggered steering. Imagine if you easily, like if you had a Lamborghini steering in a big 12 wheel truck, that will be uncontrollable. The truck will be uncontrollable. It'll just zoom and then it'll crash easily. And then you have disasters every all the time. This is basically physics in motion. This is why I, I love what um, uh, Marco Bonaya did with that physics, Igbo physics textbook, because we need to be able to talk about physics in Igbo. But anyway, this is basically physics in motion because physics tells us that you will get a greater force when you increase the mass and or the acceleration. Bigger force, bigger a bigger mass or a bigger acceleration, you get a bigger force, bigger collisions like that. And if you speed up something that is very large with a very big speed, you can get do a lot of damage. Imagine throwing something very big and heavy very quickly at somebody that you can really do damage versus throwing something very small, right? But if you throw that small thing with a faster speed, like a bullet, you can, you can really injure somebody or even take their life. This is forced mass times acceleration at work, which you'll see in Marco Bonaya's physics textbook. So why am I talking about cars, right? Why am I talking about cars? This is why I'm getting into the Kenga and the Kenga and the uh, Lambo com com comparison. This is where I will get into the illustration right now, deep into it. As I said earlier, different cars have different engines, V8, V10, V12, etc. The engine determines the horsepower of the car. Depending on its capacity, based on how it is designed by manufacturers, it gives your vehicle diff different capabilities. How fast the car will go, how much fuel it will use, how much noise it will make. So that depends on the capacity of how the engine is designed. So since the primary objective of the car is to take you from point A to point B, then how fast the car moves is the most important quality. However, since we are human beings, your ikenga does more than just determine how fast you move. It determines how you move through life. Quite all right, but not just how fast. According to J.A. Ume in the book, After God is Deep, I have volume two here with me. I don't know if you can see in this small thing. I have After God is Debia Volume 2 here with me. According to uh, J.A. Ume in the book After God is Debia, your Ikenga determines your creative ability, your destructive ability, and how you bring it all into balance. This is your Ikenga. Your Ikenga determines your creative ability, your destructive ability, and how you bring it all into balance. So that's what your Ikenga determines. So you see, that is that is why when you look at Ikenga, the Ikenga statue of different people, you see different things in his hands. He's holding different things in his hands. Those tools represent the dominant skill of the owner of the Ikenga. In essence, your Ikenga is the engine of the car that is you the creative and destructive ability. If you think about the engine, the engine has this explode, there's different explosions happening inside of the engine. You know, it, it, it gives, it determines it, like the type of engine you have determines how fast you can go, the, the car can go. So, so like, so, like, so your Ikenga will determine how, what is your, your, your creative and destructive ability, your capability, your capacity. It will determine your capacity, okay? And everybody has a predetermined capacity, just like your engine will determine that car's capacity. Or is that car a, a Lamborghini? It has a predetermined capacity. That is not the same capacity as that of a 12-wheel truck. That is not the same capacity as that of a Mercedes Benz. That is not the same capacity of that of a Peugeot 505. It's a different capacity. That is a specific capacity of a Lambo. Okay? And each car has a different capacity, and that is determined by its engine. Then the steering has a different set of instructions that it gives that, that it will that will control 
where it can, what it can do as well. So each of these vehicles have different uh, capacities based on the, um, the, 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 the things that the components that make it up. And that's why I'm using these as the analogies. I'm hoping that this will help you to understand how Igbos look at the, the, the components that make up who we are as human beings. So in Debo believes strongly that onye kwe chi ya ekwe, identifying your ikenga reveals your chi. It reveals your chi to an extent. It reveals your chi. In Debo believe that onye strongly that onye kwe chi ya ekwe, this and many other proverbs concerning the chi reveal the chi to be critical to a person's destiny. Igbo people believe that everything that has its own chi, everything has its own chi, which determines a person's destiny. And further still, all chis are part of a greater chi that controls all. The great chi is often referred to as chi uku chuku, which literally means great chi. I like to talk that talk about the, the chuku as the coordinator of perfect order. Chuku ties everything together in a balancing act. So as everything has the free will to move about as the, they would, they are restricted within certain boundaries according to their nature. For instance, a lion cannot fly like a bird because he is not made like a bird. Likewise, a bird cannot eat an antelope. Its, its makeup restrictions, it, its makeup restricts it, it in its own ways. That makeup is as a result of its chi, which is determined before its creation and is the seed from which it sprouts. It's also its alfa. Its chi and its alfa are these are part of it. It's also alfa is another thing that is, but we'll, we can talk about that alfa another day. Um, the, the makeup is the result of its chi, which is determined before its creation and is the seed from which it sprouts. Your chi is the instruction manual for how you should be in in sense. Both to um, use the car analogy, it's the steering of the car, okay? So I've used many things to describe the chi. I've said that it's the seed from which you sprout. I've said that it's the instruction manual. I said that it restricts you. I've said that it creates certain boundaries. And I've said that it is the steering of the car. So the chi <laughs> is many things. Don't let somebody just say one thing, like the chi is the Holy Spirit, and then you just take that and run away. Chi has so many implications. Chi has so many implications. So um, don't let somebody simplify it to the point where you become a dullard. You just take one one to one. You know, you just try to you want you want Igbo to be English so bad that you just take an Igbo English Igbo word chi and you give it an e English word Holy Spirit and you just walk away or destiny and walk away. No. She has so many implications, so don't just don't just take it and take it like that. Okay, your chi steers the car that is you. You are in some ways restricted by the boundaries of your chi, but you are also capable of expanding the boundaries of your chi. As the saying goes, "Onye kwe chi ye kwe." So as Chuku holds all the chis of the world together as perfect order, it is not a static universe. You and I don't stay in one place. We move about all the time, adjusting to situations as they arise. So the direction one chi goes can affect the direction of you or I. So we are all interconnected. Okay. This I'm reading from an article that I wrote, you know, like about four years ago. So we have said that the chi is the steering and the ikenga in the engine, is the engine. But what does this imply? Your ikenga determines the most effective method of your movement. Just like the type of engine in your car determines the best way to drive the car to get what you want out of it. The discovering and harnessing your ikenga can help you know the best way to drive the car that is you. Your chi, on the other hand, will steer your ikenga because you are still bound within certain boundaries based on your capabilities and limitations and also the nature of the other chis you are surrounded by or bound to, or bound to. I said surrounded by in this article, but also bound to is actually a better way to say it because you're bound to. 
But don't get me wrong. You have the freedom to move as you please, but the universe is a place of law and order. The right way to move is re re revealed in nature. So your chi determines your destiny, and in a way, so does your ikenga. However, your ikenga is less relevant in a way because it is used to it is up to you to harness your and use your ikenga. Some people never discover, use, and harness the potential of the power of their ikenga, and thus never reach their maximum potential. It is like driving a Lamborghini and never taking it to 100 kilometers per hour. You never quite find out just what it can do. And so, um, yeah, so I, I had this, this whole article, this whole article that I had written was inspired by a video that I wrote by Ngazi Chukuka Adobu Jele. Um, she did a video back in those days called Ikenga Mwana Ikenga Madu. Um, the video is <clears throat> on YouTube. If you Google Ngazi Chukuka Adobu Jele, Ikenga Mwana Ikenga Madu, you'll see her video. It's full, it's, it's in pure Igbo. In the video, uh, I wrote a little bit about it here. I said that uh, I watched the lecture today. It was in which she talked about Ikenga and it reminded me to write about my understanding of how Ikenga, Chi, and Chuku are in interconnected. One noteworthy thing she said was that, that I did not get into is that the Fuanogu, that the two horns of Ikenga represent all Fuanogu which are righteousness and guiltlessness. She said, So to me, they are like the GPS. So I said that are the GPS that points you towards where your chi is taking you. So are like the GPS that points you towards where your chi is taking you. That's what I said in this article. And I also said that I think that I should say that I don't think that you should be so consumed by the power of your Ikenga because you are not indestructible. Your Ikenga is very powerful. And as they said in After God is Divya, Ikenga is the power of three, creative, destructive, and peace. So it is not about becoming as powerful as possible because although you can take a Lamborghini from zero to 100, it may not always be beneficial to do so. That is why Afanogu will direct you and also limit you in a way so that you do not end up hurting yourself or others. So that was everything that I said in my article about um, Chi, Ikenga, Chuku, Chi, um, Ofa, Nogu, all that kind of stuff. So let me know what you think. If anybody has any thoughts, leave a comment. Um, yeah, I don't see any other comments. So I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say about uh, Chi, Ikenga, cars, Lambos. Um, I cannot, you can never say Lambo enough because that Lambo is so beautiful. But that's why. You know, they make it expensive also because it's like I said, you can take it from zero to 100 real quick. So um, does anybody have any questions about my thought process about how and why I was making the analogy of the Kenga as an engine and the Chi as the steering? <laughs> OK, Malcorn TV on YouTube says, how do you get to know your Kenga? Well, from in my opinion, the well, not in my opinion, the way you would get to know your Ikenga is you go to a uh, you go to you have to go to either a DBA or you go to uh, but that I mean, there's people who there's people who just go to um, there's people who will actually look into their own personal strength because there's some people who don't have access to DBS at this time because they're like. Um, in the the Western world, right? So if you are in America or if you're in the in Europe or something like that, you know, just you know what your strengths are by what people tell you because Ibo say Madubuchibeya, right? Madubuchibeya, and there's people, there's sayings that say that like Chica Dibia, right? There's names, the people who are named Chica Dibia. So um sometimes you just have to know what other people will say about you, right? So some people will tell you what your strengths are. You know, what um what what are you good at? What what are, what is it that you can do that are, you know, um that people that people compliment you on 
all the time. And like, there's some people who are very good at arts that are drawing, their capability is drawing. And sometimes you actually know this, people will tell you this thing. Oh, wow, this thing, this thing you draw is very, very nice. This thing you do is very, very nice. But because of one thing or another that other people have been telling you or, or, or because you yourself have low self, uh, like you don't have confidence in it because maybe somebody else in your life who is maybe not as nice to you or has been mean to you or has been trying to sabotage you, you know, you don't really believe that you're as good as you are in that thing, which is why sometimes you have to go to somebody who's a specialist, like a psychologist or a, and I'm talking about people who don't have access to a DBA in this, in this situation, um, or somebody who's a specialist who can actually see through you, you have to find somebody who's who you can actually see what you're actually good at, you know, what is your strength, what is your power, you know, what is it that will lead you to be um more uh what will lead lead you to something that is that is that will that will make you that will be your driving force in this world. Um for different people, it's different things. You know what I mean? I'm I'm saying I'm using talents to symbolize when I'm saying this, I'm using talents to symbolize um Ikenga in in the Western world because there's some of my audience that is in the Western world, but in the in Alibo in Nigeria, Ikenga, we all know about the the totem that is Ikenga. We all know about the actual, you know, totem that is Ikenga, which can be something completely different and it can be treated in a completely different way. So you will have to be a little bit more specific and then you will have to go to people who are closer to you, who are able to direct you more specifically. So I'm hoping that the things that I'm saying are, are guiding you a little bit. Um, but uh, to get to know your Ikenga, you will need to go to people who who can who can really you know direct you on that you know okay somebody else is asking a question they said is it can got particular to certain people preferably males or is it for everybody or of, of all genders okay so i've heard two different things most people will tell you that ikenga is only for males Majority of the people you talk to will tell you that it cannot is only for males. But I've heard a few initiates who have said that there is a particular Ikenga that certain women can get, but it's very rare. Um, I've heard this also. Um, but majority of the Ikengas is something that is specific to males. So I will just generally say yes, that Ikenga is a male deity, that they have something for women, and it's called Omomu. Omomo is for women. Um, Ikenga is something that majority male men is majority men centric. Um, yeah. Milecorn TV gives us a thumbs up. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so Ikenga, that's that's basically all I really wanted to talk about today. If there's any other questions or thoughts or comments based on Ikenga, um, if you have any questions, like I, like I was saying, Malcorn TV, um, one last thought about like how to get to know your Ikenga. Like there's a there's a lot of because there's a lot of people nowadays who I feel like because the systems in Ananibo that have to do with like guiding the young people towards um, getting to know their chi, their kenga, their agu and stuff like that are not as, um, I don't feel like they're as, they're, there's like, they're not as strong and they're not as like, people aren't as confident to go to these places because there's a lot of shady business going on right now. Um, I feel like it's hard to like, find a legitimate and reputable place to go, you know? So that's why I want, that's why I want to be careful what I say. And I want you to go to somebody that you, that you know, you know, I don't want you to, I'm not telling you to come to me and I'm not telling you exactly who to go to. So I want to be very careful what I say. Um, 
Yeah. So try to, so try to like go try to find somebody that's like in your family or somebody that you know that can guide you better. Okay. Um, because I don't want to give you information or drive you to do something that you will come and say, oh, this girl on YouTube said something and then they'll come and drag me and take away my channel. Okay. So, um, Dalo, Maka, you know, Ilema, Lema, Le, Onyonyom, Biko. Um, thank you guys for watching my channel. Uh, thank you for watching me on whatever platform you're watching me on right now. I appreciate you all. Peace. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.